sheets in front of you. If you will, there's two sides of that sheet. One says setup, the other says setting the timing. If you will turn to the sign, the side that says setup. Everything that we're going to show you up here is actually on that, but uh, that you can take take home with you. But uh, I'm going to talk to these poster boards up here, and I think it'll make more sense to you. Let's take a look at most. I'm going to talk about a couple of basic things that that need to be said to understand the timing. And many of you I know are are qualified mechanics and know all this already. But for those that don't. Um, on the, on the crank, uh, we have four pistons, and two of them are on the upside and two are on the downside. downside. In other words, when, when two of the pistons are coming up, the other two are coming down. And if we take a look at what I've demonstrated over here on number two, that one is coming up. Yeah, that one's on its upstroke. Of course, if that one's on its upstroke, then so is number three. But only one of them provides power. So every time a piston fires, it provides a power stroke to the crank. Now, if that piston is coming up and it fires too soon, what's it doing? It's firing against itself. And it does several things. It's going to lose power because the piston's trying to come up, and yet it, it's going to ignite before it gets to the top. So it's going to rob power, but it's also going to tear up your babbit. So that's why it's so important you get this timing right because you'll find that if you get it right you'd be amazed at how much power you have, how much more power you have, and also you're going to save the babbit. You're not going to be pounding your babbit out. Okay, let's go to the next. Okay, now this is what we're talking about setup. You can't start your timing and know where you're at if you don't make sure you do some setup first. And this is something that a lot of people aren't aware of, I've come to find out. And that is that the first thing you want to do is in the full retard position, with your spark lever all the way up, you have to make sure that the distributor arm is right up against the opening in the, uh, in the, in the distributor case. Okay, once you have checked that, then pull it all the way down to the full advanced side. Let's go to the next one. When you pull it all the way down to the full advanced side, then it should be, the arm should be up against the other side of the opening in the distributor box. If it's, if, it's, if it's set up that way, you're in good shape. Now, the 2029, 20, you can do nothing about it. It's fixed because the, the, the steering column is all one piece. But in a 3031, you can change this, and many of you, when you go back to check that, you'll find out, oops, that arm stops an eighth inch short of being all the way up against the body. That means when it comes down, it's not going to give you full distance the other direction. So we need to check this. If you've got a 3031, or better explained than that, if you've got a 2-2 a steering box, that's a steering box that has a separate column from the box itself. So let's go to the next one. Okay, now how do we change that? I'm sure you're all familiar with this. This is the clamp that clamps the steering column to the steering box. You loosen this clamp and then you loosen the two screws uh, inside the cab. Uh, let's go to the next one. Okay, loosen these two screws, if you're, if you're familiar with that. Now you can actually grab a hold of the column and rotate it. Now, if, if you find that when you're in the full advanced position, and the distributor arm is not up against the side, then rotate this column until it is up against the side. Then you'll find out that when you pull it down, it will also hit the, hit the other side of the body. So it's easy to make this adjustment, but people take these uh, 
uh, apart to rebuild them or something, and they don't realize that that is an adjustment that this that has to be made to get your full degrees of advance and retard on your timing. So once you've done this, like I say, you just loosen this. It might be tough to turn because of the rubber uh, gasket sticking hard in it, but you can rotate. It does rotate when you loosen these two screws and you lo loosen the, the bolt on the bracket. So once you've got that d done, then we can move to the next. <coughs> Okay, now that's that's the setup. That gets us that gets us to where we we know that we have full 20 degrees of advance on the distributor. Now, when you go to the distributor, if you turn the page over, it says timing setup. You want to, of course, put your timing pin in and get it get it set so that you're at at top dead center. Now, if you suspect that maybe the timing pin is off or for some reason you're not really sure whether or not it's at the right place because sometimes those timing gears are not exactly right and it's important that you know whether or not you're a top dead center so what i do is pull number one plug take a piece of coat hanger wire about a foot long and if you stick it down into the plug hole at an angle to where you you know, get a flashlight, you can see the top of the piston, and then slowly rotate the crank till that piston comes up, and you can kind of watch the wire. Be careful that you don't get it caught in the, in, in the valve, um, and, and it'll come up and you'll see it kind of change position, and then see how that corresponds to where your timing pin is. So the main thing we're doing now is, with the rotor pointed at the number one post on your distributor body, we're trying to find top dead center. Okay, let's go for the next one. Now, once you once you do that, then the next step is actually to um, set the um, set the point gap. And you now there's if you look at the Ford documentation, it says 18 to 22 thousandths. Well, my thoughts on that is the reason Ford said 18 to 22 because the on the original points, that fiber rub on the points was very soft. I mean, in a hundred miles, it's you've lost two or three thousandths on your point gap. So by going to twenty-two thousandths, it gives you a lot more time before you have to reset your points. The ideal setting is eighteen. That's thirty-one degrees dwell. That's what the dwell should be on a four-cylinder engine, on, on any four-cylinder engine. A dwell of thirty-one degrees. That's eighteen thousandths on the points. Now, if you've got modern points, you, should, you shouldn't have to set that for three or four years because we've gone to a plastic rub bar on the points. So with modern points, you set it once and you should be good for a long time. You set it at 18 thousandths, that gives you the maximum amount of saturation of your coil. And that's what the point gap does, is it determines how long that it's open to allow the coil to reach full saturation. Why do we want full saturation of the coil? Because that's where your high voltage is developed. Um, and that's what we're looking for is about 24,000 volts out of the coil. It comes down to the distributor. And from there, it is distributed out to the spark plugs. And what you're looking for is a good hot spark, which should be around 24,000 volts. So that's why point gap is really important because it determines whether or not your coil is going to be fully saturated to give you that high voltage you need. Okay, let's go to the next. Um, let's see, we may, we may, oh, we may need that. Let me see what the next one is here. Um, let's stay with this one here for a minute. Okay. Okay. Now that we've got the point gap set, now we got to set the rotor. Now, what we're trying to do is to set it. Now, keep in mind that the rotor rotates counterclockwise. This rotor rotates counterclockwise. So what we're going to do, we, to, to, to be able to know exactly where we're setting, we have to make sure that we take out all the what I call backlash. You've got a two-piece distributor shaft, and you've got a gear that runs off of the camshaft, and all that has wear and play in it. So 
you just about anybody can take a hold of the rotor and you can do this a 